first at five, New Mexico State's overtime win over Liberty should have been a feel-good moment for the Aggies. But instead, all of the talk about the game today has been about an unfortunate first-half incident involving Aggies forward Robert Carpenter and Flames forward Shiloh Robinson. KTSM Sports Director Colin Deaver joins us now with a story that's making national news. Colin. Yes, that what we first told our viewers about it last night on KTSM at 10 p.m. Aggies forward Robert Carpenter was ejected from the game in the first half after punching Liberty's Shiloh Robinson in the face. Today, New Mexico State suspended Carpenter indefinitely from all team activities. Now take a look. You can see Carpenter and Robinson under the basket battling for a rebound, but then Carpenter punches Robinson in the face and he falls to the ground. Carpenter was ejected from the game immediately and then suspended indefinitely today by the school. NMSU said that while the NCAA only requires a one game suspension for any on court by uh, altercations. The university felt that an indefinite suspension for Carpenter was necessary. Sources tell KTSM on Friday morning that Carpenter apologized to Robinson and Liberty coach Richie McKay in person on Thursday night and that they did accept his apology. Now Carpenter also apologizing publicly on social media today saying quote I want to apologize to Shiloh Robinson and to the Liberty basketball program. I also want to apologize to my teammates and to all of Aggie Nation for my actions on the court last night. That's not me. That's not who I am. As a person, I let my emotions get the best of me and I let my team down. End quote. New Mexico State head coach Jason Hooten opened his press conference last night with an apology of his own to Liberty and did so again in a statement released today by the school. Here is more from Hooten last night after the game. First of all, that's not the way that we're going to do things here at New Mexico State University. I, I think everybody knows me. I think, uh, you know, in my 31 year career and 14 as a head coach, there's just no room, no room for that in the game at all. And you know, and I feel really bad as the coach. I mean, I feel like, you know, like responsible for that. And so we just got to do a better job and, you know, we got to we got to take take what we need and, you know, what what comes at us and then we need to move on and we need to learn from it. Hooten said today that New Mexico State would revisit the length of Carpenter's suspension in the near future, but at the very least, they will not have him tomorrow at home against Jacksonville State. I do fully expect Carpenter's suspension to be much longer than that, though. Conference USA also weighing in today, telling KTSM that it was an unacceptable and clear violation of the league standards. The league also said that it approved of New Mexico State's disciplinary measures. Estella, back to you. Okay, thank you for that live report.